Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. Apartheid, an Afrikaans word meaning separation, was a system of racial segregation that governed South Africa from 1948 to 1994. It was officially made law by the Afrikaner-led National Party, who believed in the superiority of the white race and the Afrikaners' God-given right to the land. People were separated into four different racial categories, white, black, Indian and colored. And laws were put into place to ensure the dominance of the white race over all others. These included black South Africans being physically forced into bandostans or homelands. Their only interaction with the white minority was when they were being exploited for cheap labor or being repressed by the authorities. And of course, non-whites had no political rights. But with repression came resistance, and the African National Congress, including Nelson Mandela, led the fight against the horrific system which was eventually dismantled in 1994. So, who owns South Africa? At the end of apartheid in 1994, 85% of all agriculture farmland was owned by white farmers. That has decreased slightly today, but the picture is still one of stark inequality. White people make up less than 10% of the population and own three quarters of all farmland, or 73% to be exact. Black people constitute 76% of the population and own just 4% of farmland. Who owns South Africa? The answer is unambiguous. It's still white people. South Africa remains to be the most unequal society in the world, where half of the population live under poverty. Over 14 million black South Africans live in settlements like this one, with little access to water, sanitation, and other essential services. Meanwhile, 10% of the population, the majority of whom are white, own 90% of the nation's wealth. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below.